Hello, water signs. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa, and I'm here right now to take a look into the next 24 to 48 hours or so, which is June 18th and the 19th is 2024. Everything you needed to know about me, it is down below in the description box. All right, let's see. Message right here, please. Okay, water signs. Eclipse. Hmm. We start right here with the soul eclipse energy. Big time changes coming here, okay? This could be happening right here the next six months or some type of way. So eclipses bring about deaths and changes to different things, rebirths, okay? We did have an eclipse that was in um, April, and um, that eclipse lasts for six months. So April to May to June to July to August, September, October. So we'll see the changes happen from now until October. But um, this one right here says there's eclipse here, okay? And we're talking about June the 18th and the 19th of 2024. So this eclipse could be happening right now. Yeah, it could be in a love situation. Something here is going to be a rebirth in a love situation or some change could be happening here in a love situation right now. What's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels right here. Three of Swords, Okay. So these changes, they come with a little bit of a heartbreak, I feel. Yeah, fire sign right here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. Okay, and the queen of wands, a fire sign maybe perhaps here. So I'm also feeling like this is somebody else's relationship. It's not yours, I feel. This three right here, okay. And then this over here, I feel like this is a third party situation. It's not yours. For some of you, okay? This is not your relationship. It's somebody else's relationship that you're heartbroken about or that's them. Okay? Okay, let's, let's see what's going on. Okay, what's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is um, Water Signs right here. It's Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio right here. We have four of coins right here. Yeah, so somebody was holding on to something right here, and something is changing about that. Somebody's being eclipsed out right here. Okay, so this is the sun card. That could be a Leo right here. And a seven of wands right here is in reverse, okay? The full card right here, Aries energy is here. Okay, all right, yeah. So, something is changing. I'm getting right here with a fire sign because the king and the queen of wands is both fire signs, and I have a fool is Aries, the sun is Leo. So, I'm getting like something here is definitely changing with a fire sign. I'm getting right here. Okay, yeah, ten of wands right here. Something here is too hard or something like that to get somebody to want to do something here, some type of way. And I feel like something here is definitely eclipsing out about it in some way. But some of you, I feel like this is not your relationship. It's somebody else's, but it don't have to be. It could be your relationship. Okay. Comforting connection right here. Six of cups right here. So I feel like in the past right here, somebody did want to hold on to this or somebody want to hold on to this because... It's material, financially secured, or something like that, right? I feel like somebody did want to hold on to something because of finances. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here, the waxing moon right here, right? I feel like somebody here did want to move forward with some relationship right here. I feel like it's with a Leo, perhaps. Okay. Either the, the Leo is getting eclipsed out or you are or something like that. Okay. So the strength card right here is Leo again. I'm getting a Leo. Okay. Somebody's really heartbroken. I'm getting right here about this Leo or the Leo is heartbroken. Okay. Somebody could even be heartbroken because you're being seen. The sun card is being seen in some way. Okay. So maybe somebody's heartbroken about that. Yeah, justice card right here. So I just feel like justice is being served in some way. Somebody's heartbroken, but justice is served, I feel. Okay, five of coins. 
And this is somebody here that really do feel left out in the cold. Yes, yeah, somebody feel left out in the cold. Some heavy burden right here. Okay. I feel like justice is served for here. You know, it's a cause and effect for everything in some way right here. Okay. I feel like somebody's heartbroken because this is invisible force or this is an astrology or something like that because the eclipse is, is astrology. So I feel like this is astrology, this invisible force right here. This causes somebody a whole lot of heartbreak right here because there's nothing they can do, I feel. Something here is fate, justice card right here. It's fate right here, right? Or something like that. So somebody's going to be eclipsed out because something is fake. So I'm getting one here. Yeah, something here is a missed opportunity because somebody here has self-serving disinterest, I feel, right here, right? Or somebody here is holding on for material gain right here, right? So that's, you know, they're being eclipsed out. That's the missed opportunity. Yeah. Somebody can't hold on for self-serving disinterest or uh, material attachment. But they can't be missing an opportunity with you with a self-serving disinterest. They can't be missing opportunities with you or something like that. You're protected from something like that. Okay, that's fate right here. Four coins, four swords, and a four of um, cups, right? That's fate. So I'm getting right here. Something like that is fate right here. They can't hold on to you for material Okay. They really can't. I'm getting my hand. If they was making progress in a love situation, it's going to stop. I'm getting it. Especially if they're not here for the right reason. So, because you're just too deeply protected about something like that. Yeah. I'm getting like this Aries is, is definitely heartbroken. I'm getting right here. Okay, because something here is, um, yeah, this is like God of the universe. The invisible force is God of the universe intervenes. Okay, they're trying to hold on for a material attachment or something like that right here. You know, for all the wrong reasons. Okay, somebody's really heartbroken though, I feel. Could be a divine masculine right here. Yeah, six of um, coins for him reverse. Okay. I feel like you're not giving your energy to this person or you're not going to get the money, something like that. You know, that's justice right there or that's fair or something like that because I feel like somebody's only holding on for a material attachment, not because, you know, the right reasons. So it's fair and just that they just will not be, they'll be eclipsed out then, something like that. They'll be left out in the cold or something like that, I feel right here. Yeah, or if somebody here is holding money from you and they owe you, then, you know, that might, you know, that something like that could be affected, I feel, right now. Because something here has to be fair and just in some way in the eyes of the universe. Death card right here. Something's going to end, I feel, right here. Something here is definitely going to end, I feel. In the eyes of the universe, something here is just, there's something will end right now, okay? Yeah. Ace of Swords right here. Yeah, the star card right here. Could be a Aquarius right here. The star and the sun though right here. Wow. This is the best card in row right here. Okay. Somebody may feel like you're the best. That's the type of way. So this is definitely deep emotional pain I feel then. Because somebody feel like you're the best right here in some way, okay? Or this is the best situation or something like that, right? And maybe something is the best situation, but I feel like they're holding on for the wrong reasons over here, okay? So, you know, that's not the way it's going to work, I feel, right here. Like a coin right here reverse. Something here is not going to go anywhere. They're heartbroken. Something's not going to go anywhere right here. You're not going to put your guards down to something like this or anything like that when they're holding on for the wrong reasons, that's fair, just, I'm getting. Yeah, two of swords right here. Yeah. If they don't have their heart into this or their stalemate or anything like that, then, you know, that's fair. That's just right here that they'd be eclipsed out then. 
You know, something here is too hard. It's too hard for somebody to be caring and loving or trustworthy to somebody right here. When, you know, they're stalemate, they're not, they're avoiding you or their heart is not into this or, you know, something like that. If their heart not into something right here, it's going to end on them. Okay. Yeah, if they're missing an the opportunity or they're just trying to hold on for some wrong reason or finances or something like that. The universe is not playing with them. They, they eclipsed out getting right here. They have anxiety, whoever this is. They have anxiety, I feel, right here because, you know, I just feel like something here is not even you. It's God or the universe. Just in the midst of this, just saying something here will be fair and just in some way for somebody here, okay? So that's what I have, okay? Thank you so much. And I send you peace, blessings, of course, love, and light. Namaste to you.